are you in this unsettling confusion where you are not sure what to choose for yourself as masters m tech or mba which is best or do you even need to do a masters what do companies and recruiters prefer which of them has highest potential of landing you in a well paid job if you are struggling to find answers to all those questions then you have tuned into the right session with corporate diaries because today you will learn how to decide on which masters is best for you whether m tech or mba or do you even need to do masters plus you will be able to guide others around you who are struggling with the same confusion they are not sure what to choose you will be able to guide them as well after watching this video so if required grab your pen and paper so that you can take notes and don't miss anything so we'll be on that in few seconds stay tuned corporate diary welcome back guys so let's start by understanding the mba option first because i got the votes for mba much more than votes for m tech in the question or poll that i asked you guys to respond for so let's understand who should go for mba and what actually mba does to you when you choose it as a masters mba as the name suggests is all about business studies what happens is when we are studying something technical or any specific skill set maybe it or something else we are focused only on single aspect of a company a single work or job role associated but there exists entire world of different type of roles and jobs that require a company to scale further so mba teaches you a bigger perspective it gives you a bigger picture of how the entire business runs what all you need when you're studying engineering all you know is that all the people associated with it companies who are working in it companies are doing something related to the software or something related to programming at least i thought so when i was studying my engineering or maybe i had little idea about few other roles maybe hr finance and things like that the core technical role or core technical team inside a company are limited to only one team or two team there are 100 teams out there what all of them do what's the actual work they do how the company is dependent on them to scale to further level because obviously as a company you can't scale much with a technical team of few people because they must be working on something very important maybe a software product or something like that but you need somebody to sell that product as well because otherwise what's the use of working on that product so that means you need people in your sales or marketing team if you have them you need somebody to design the documents which will be used to pitch to the client who will design those documents will your technical guys they are busy developing the software or the product your marketing guys they are not efficient or are not trained to do that as well then comes into picture your design team you need to hire designers once you have them say you have pitched the product to the client now client may have several queries over 24 into 7 time who is going to respond to those queries the owner the developer the designing team no now you need to have a customer service team or client servicing team ready to respond to the queries that client raises great we already have four teams now when we have these many people inside our company we need somebody to manage the legal compliances as well we want to make sure that our company is compliant to all state and national regulations of employees act you need hr team as well did you see in such a simple example of imagining about a single product company how five teams came together so quickly so fast mba is something that gives you perspective about all this i also got to know about these things when i was pursuing my mba before that all i knew was only one skill set i studied computer science and i thought everybody who is working in it mncs are working on software programming language or something related to that stuff so obviously there are specializations in mba as well that you can choose from but more or less they groom you on all the aspects about business so if you are interested to go for the positions which 
require uh, perception requires intelligence on this larger front larger perspective then please choose MBA now there is one interesting question that I receive all the time from students that is that I'm not interested into technical job or I don't like coding so can I go for management kind of role I don't know why people has this idea of management jobs being really easy believe me managing people is much tougher than managing softwares or algorithms another big misconception that these students has is that post their MBA they will land in a job which will pay them well then they would get in a job after their BTEC that is such a such a myth and if you have been living into that assumption then I'm really sorry to break your heart but that is not at all all true I am the living proof the placement that I got after my BTEC paid me offered me much higher package than what I started after my MBA and there is a reason for that when you appear for interview for your technical skills people can short short measure how good or bad you are by your problem solving skills the way you write your programming code they can score everything but when you appear for the interview of some management kind of role especially when you are a fresher it's very difficult to gauge what skill set you have what you are good at I mean if you simply say that you're good at managing people is there any scale which can measure that no absolutely no at the max they can score you on your comm skills your Microsoft PPT Excel skills that's it and all other skills are finer and softer skills which can be later maybe they can be judged basis your experience but as a fresher they are really hard to measure so people who are hiring they don't want to spend that much on somebody for whom they are not sure how much they scale or how much they score on the skills that they need to hire and if you are scared to go for your technical interviews thinking that let me do my masters as MBA then I might escape these kind of interviews and land in a job which is much easier pay me well and da 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 that is such a big mistake because today with your technical skills you can prove how good or how average or great you are with your skills while after MBA you might be good at those skills but it will be difficult to prove those fine skills to the interview okay now so who should choose MBA MBA is for those people who want to understand the holistic business picture or who want to learn business skills want to learn the finer skill set of setting up a business who feel that eventually over a period of time they would start something of their own then MBA would definitely help you or if you have inclination towards management kind of roles not as an escape but naturally you have inclination you have interest towards that and rather than putting your effort into technical skills you are willingly interested to put your 200% in the softer skills finer skills the management kind of skills then it is a good choice for you to go for MBA so moving on to our second option which is mtech though there are very less people less students who have opted for this choice but still i want to include it here for the people who might want to pursue mtech mtech is very different from mba mtech and mba are two poles apart i think mtech is all about one specific skill set where you need to groom yourself in where you go in a single direction you kind of become a master or expert of that particular technical skill while MBA was all about expanding your horizons, seeing how the overall business come into picture. So MTech is for those people who want to deep dive into that technical subject further, specifically for the people who are intending to have a career into research and development. Very important. People who see themselves in research and development kind of roles, you will have to do MTech for that number two people who are willing to have a career into teaching or taking it to further level like studying phd and stuff for that as well mtech is a very necessary degree or i'll say masters now third and the most important thing which most of these students don't realize i know a lot of people want to make a career into data science but they don't have enough awareness about data science what all it takes so if you see yourself into data science kind of career then you must choose mtech over anything else recruiters and companies also prefer mtech people or students 
over the normal graduates when they are hiring for data science kind of job roles so that is kind of very important now there are several institutes as well who provide mtech particularly into data science and machine learning kind of stuff so you can figure that out if you wish to know you can let me know in the comment section below i'll try to include that information somewhere either on the post or in a video now the salary and job interview part obviously when you are an mtech your pay rates are little higher than uh, what it is for a normal graduate but you have to keep in mind when you are appearing for an interview expectations from a mtech candidate is much more than what it is from a btech candidate if you perform as per the standard of a btech graduate you will not be hired there are expectations from mtech graduates and they are much much higher than normal graduates so if you are choosing mtech you have to make sure that you scale up you learn those skills and then you have to prove those skills you have to prove that you are up to the level of mtech during that interview round otherwise it will be very difficult for you to land in a job so if you are a recent graduate or a final sem student and if you are thinking now it's difficult to get a job i have not learned anything in my btech let me do mtech and maybe by that time this pandemic will be over i might learn something new in mtech and then i land in job easily and in a well paid job you are fooling yourself because it will be much more difficult for you to prove your skills at that level then it is at this level believe me so stop fooling yourself and choose mtech only when you are serious about your future prospects not as an escape okay so we are on our last option which is do you even need to do masters i saw in the poll that lot of people have opted for this option as well while there is nothing wrong in that but today i'll tell you why somebody is required to do masters why masters even exist because if it wasn't important it wouldn't have existed okay the thing is when you start your career there is no need of masters but when you are around 10 to 15 years of experience in your particular domain and when you are expecting a promotion to a director kind of level or any c level ceo cfo or maybe people around them who are at decision making positions for that if there are two employees which qualify for that promotion and one of them has done their masters doesn't matter mba or mtech but have done their masters then management will obviously pick or choose the one which has done masters over somebody who has not done their masters now for the same reason you will find lot of professional do their masters later in their career while they are studying either they take a break to do the full time masters mtech or mba whatever their preferred choice is or they just do it parallel so you can decide on the way you wish to do it but yes it is definitely important maybe not at this point of your career it's all your choice if you want to do it now after your uh, btech so that you are done and dusted all at once you finish studying everything or you think taking a job at this point is more important for you it's important for you to start earning maybe to support your family or there there can be many other factors then you can you can push that decision of pursuing masters to later years of your career that's also totally fine but eventually if you want to scale in your career you need to do masters is i know there a lot of confusion people have because i personally had them when i was studying my engineering and the change in my mindset the shift which i felt when i did my mba so i can talk on it forever do let me know in the comment section if you want to hear more on this topic i can do a part 2 kind of stuff but for now i am hanging up on this session here only i hope i added some value to your perception and you got to learn something new some new view point which you didn't know before from this session so that was it guys you keep on watching more content on this channel and keep letting me know how you like it and i'll see you in my next video till then stay safe and healthy take care bye